This video shows how to run the Quantum Leap's QP real-time framework on embedded Linux and specifically how to use the QP SPI software tracing on embedded Linux targets. I will use here Raspberry Pi as an embedded Linux target and the Windows 10 machine as a host computer. But the presentation will apply to other embedded Linux targets as well as desktop Linux as your host. The first step is to download the QP real-time framework. Point your browser to the Quantum Leaps website at statemachine.com and click on the download button of the framework type you'd like to try. Here I click on QPC++, but QPC will work just as well. The QP downloads are hosted on the SourceForge open source repository. Make sure that you are in the QPCPP folder, select the latest version and click on the zip file to download. The next step is to copy the downloaded zip file to your embedded Linux target. Here I use PuTTY to connect to my headless Raspberry Pi over the network. Once you log into the home directory, create the QP subdirectory for hosting the QP stuff. You have many options to put a downloaded zip file on your Linux target. Here I use PSCP from my Windows host to copy the zip file to the QP subdirectory on the Raspberry Pi, which happens to be at the IP address 192.168.177. Of course, you need to adjust it to your network. On the Pi, I check that the zip file has been copied over and I unzip it. Next, I change to the QPCPP examples POSIX directory and I choose the Dining Philosopher's Problem DPP example. Here you can see that the make file is provided, so I use it to make the SPI build configuration. The newer versions of QP build the framework from sources, as opposed to linking a pre built QP library. This means that you don't need to execute an extra library build step. Also, the SPI build configuration contains special software instrumentation which provides detailed information about the execution of your software. You will see the SPI output in a minute. But before you run the DPP SPI configuration on the Pi, you need to launch the QSPI host application on the Windows host. The QSPI application is part of the Quantum Leap's QTools collection that is also available for download from SourceForge quite similarly to how you downloaded the QPC++ framework. Here I've already downloaded and installed QTools in the default location on Windows, which is C QP QTools. Specifically, QSPI executable is located in the QTools bin subdirectory. It is highly recommended to add the QTools bin directory to your path. If you do so, you can launch QSPI from any directory. Here I launch QSPI with two command line options. Minus U, meaning that I want to open a UDP port, and minus T, meaning that I want to start a TCP IP server socket waiting for target connections. Now you can run the DPP example on the embedded Linux target from the SPI subdirectory. You need to provide the IP address of the Windows host that runs QSPI as the command line argument. Of course, you need to adjust the IP address to your network. When you run the example, you can see the printouts of the philosopher activities on the target console, but you can also see a lot more information sent to the QSPI utility running on the Windows host. This information is produced by the tracing instrumentation embedded inside the QP framework which controls virtually all interesting events within the target. The DPP example can also accept some user events, such as the P key press to pause serving the forks to philosophers and the S key press to resume serving the forks. You quit the DPP example by pressing the escape key. 
This concludes this short demonstration of running QP on embedded Linux targets. To learn more about the QP frameworks, you can visit statemachine.com and click on the user manual link for the framework of interest. As you will find out, the QP frameworks enable you to work at a higher level of abstraction, where you can use active objects, hierarchical state machines, modeling, and automatic code generation. For instance, the DPP example used in this presentation has been entirely designed in the Quantum Leap's QM modeling tool. in which you can graphically design the state machines of your active objects, and where you can generate the code automatically. Another benefit of QP is the built-in QP SPI software tracing, which adds unprecedented visibility into a running embedded code. To appreciate why QP SPI is a better option than peppering your code with printf statements, you can read the QSPI documentation in the QTools manual. In the next video, I will show you how to use the QP SPI software tracing on embedded Linux with the unit testing harness called QTest.